Hi, today I'm gonna talk about line art and what Krita can offer to make the process easier. You know, sometimes making fine neat lines could be really challenging, but most programs have special features to help you with that. Before we start discussing Krita tools for that purpose, let's choose brushes. In the brush preset docker you can choose ink. But the list here is a bit longer and also contains erasers. So we can just stay at all and type ink. And here you have the brushes for line art. For some brushes the thickness of the line is changing. That allows you to make your line art more dynamic. But if you don't want that, open brush settings and antique size option. Or if you want the line thickness to vary stronger, you can play around with this curve. And one more brush I wanted to tell you about is basic one brush. It's different because it belongs to Quick Brush Engine. If you look at previous brushes, they belong to Pixel Brush Engine. And you can see there are lots of different settings. As for Quick Brush Engine, there are quite a few options here. And that's why this brush could work faster on bigger sizes. And it's less leggy. I personally prefer to use it for filling large areas. But you can use it for line art as well. Just correct the brush size and tick size option if you want a line to be more dynamic. Now let's dive in into Krita features. Ok, we're gonna line this guy. I have my sketch on the separate layer and I'm gonna lower the opacity. I have my background layer underneath and on top of all layers I'm making a new one. And I'm gonna name it line art. So the first thing that comes to mind is stabilizer. You have your brush tool selected and now at the tool options docker in the brush smoothing section you can choose stabilizer. As for other options in the list, they don't really influence your line that much. When you choose stabilizer you notice that your brush is moving way slower and that allows you to make your lines smoother. Just don't forget to switch back to weighted option when you wanna use an eraser. The second feature is dynamic brush tool, which works pretty much the same. The brush moves slower and thus your lines are getting smoother. But the benefit of using this tool is that you can change the brush movement speed by correcting the mass field. And you can play with drag field as well. It makes it more elastic. And there is one more option. If you are truly desperate, you can use vector tools. Sometimes, if I need a simple curve and I can't make it right, I would just use a bezier tool on a paint layer. But if you need more than one line and you probably want to edit it and fix it, you can create a vector layer and use vector tools on it, like Bezier tool. And you can edit it with Edit Shapes tool. When you are done with your vector line, you can rasterize it, just right click on your vector layer and choose convert to paint layer. Another tip for a better liner is to use line, rectangle and ellipse tools if it's possible. Like I used a line tool a lot in this drawing.
before you release the mouse button or stylus, you can press Alt key and place the object where you need it to be. I know it sounds obvious, but don't forget to rotate the canvas. In Krita you can do it by pressing 4 or 6 key on your keyboard. You can reset canvas rotation by pressing 5. Zooming the canvas also can be helpful. And don't forget that Ctrl Z must be your best friend here. If you don't like your line, just undo it and try again, and again, and again, until you like it. Also, you don't have to draw your line art on one single layer. You can use as many layers as you want and in the end to merge it down. And the last thing I wanted to discuss is how to change your line art color. So, here is your line art layer on the layer docker. All you need is to press this button, which resembles a chessboard. It's called Alpha Locket. You can also access it by right-clicking on the layer and choosing Layer Properties from the menu. Now you can pick any brush, I choose basic one because it doesn't change the opacity, and after picking the color you need, just start drawing. Or you can take Shapes Fill Brush, let me show you how it works on a separate layer. See, you trace a random shape and it fills it. So I just trace the whole canvas and the color has changed. And that's all for now. If you like the video, please share it in your social media. It could help the channel grow. And also, thank you for all nice and kind comments you guys posted under my very first video.